In my humble opinion, da'wah is not primarily done via the tongue, huh? via intellectual arguments, via solid, logical, rational debate. It doesn't done that way. It's not done that way. I was impacted by didat. Zakir Naik is somebody I consider to be a friend. I was with him many, many times. But the brutal fact of the matter is those tactics did not convert hundreds and thousands of people. That's just the fact. So we need to overcome this issue of da'wah being an intellectual exercise, of da'wah being a rational argument of knowing how to respond to these debates. No. That is the humble opinion of the stupid Yasir Kedi, deliberately misleading his audience. He teaches his audience not to argue with other people, like the Christians, and not to use intellect or logic. His humble opinion is on the contrary with the teaching of Quran and the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad. As a matter of fact, in the Quran, Allah explicitly instructed Prophet Muhammad to argue with people like Christians. Moreover, Allah has instructed us to utilize our logic and intellect. Indeed, Yasir Kedhi does not have adequate knowledge of Quran to teach his audience. How can he say, inviting to Islam is not by tongue, when the majority of Quranic verses begin with the word, cool, meaning, say, the word, say, as an instruction. Before that, please support us through Patreon, or, PayPal, or, the purchasing of our book, on, Amazon. Find the link in the description. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the Quran, Allah says as follow. Quote, Invite them, to the way of your God, with wisdom and good instructions. Argue with them in it the best way. End quote. In this Quranic verse, Allah explicitly instructed Prophet Muhammad, to argue with people, like the pagans, Jewish, Christians, and so on, in a good way. The Quranic verse is so explicit, there are no further explanation needed. In another Quranic verse, Allah says as follow. Quote, Allah make clear his verses to you, so that you might use reason. End quote. Allah instructed people to utilize their logic or their intellect to understand the meaning of Quranic verses. That is the reason why Allah gave human beings intellect. Contrary to other religion, like Christianity, Islam does not contradict logic or intellect. In other religions, such as Christianity, people need to ignore their intellect in order to have faith. They need to destroy their brain in order to have faith. However, that is not the case of Islam. Islam guides and protects human intellect. To understand the underlying for the invitation to Islam, we would like to use the following six evidences taken from the teaching of Islam. There are four verses of the Quran and two hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. These are not the only evidences, but they are deemed enough for this presentation. To know more about the evidences, please stay tuned to this video. Without further ado, let us get into the video. The first evidence is, the Quran chapter 41 verse 33. The Quranic verse stated as follows, quote, No one is better in speech than, one who invites to Allah, and does good deeds, and says, Certainly, I am one, of the Muslims. End quote. The second evidence is, the Quran chapter 12 verse 108. The Quranic verse stated as follows, quote, Say, This is my path. I invite you all, to Allah, with true knowledge. I and those who follow me, really do. Exalted is Allah. I am not one, who associates others with him. End quote. The third evidence is, the Quran chapter 16 verse 125. The Quranic verse stated as follows, Quote, invite them to the path of your God, with wisdom, and good instruction. Argue with them, in the best way. End quote. The fourth evidence is, the Quran chapter 28 verse 87. The Quranic verse stated as follows. Quote, never let them prevent you, from conveying the verses of Allah, which have been revealed to you. Invite people to your God. Never be one who associates others with him. 
Do not invoke another deity besides Allah. There is no deity other than him. End quote. The fifth evidence is, Hadith number, 5027, from, Sahih, Al-Bukhari, Collection. The Hadith was conveyed by, Yutsman, Ibn, Al-Afan, may Allah be pleased with him, a companion of the Prophet, and the third Caliph, or, successor to the Prophet, after the demise of the Prophet. The Hadith stated as follows, Quote, Yutsman Ibn Al-Afan, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, the Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the best among you are, those who learn the Quran, and then teach it to other. End quote. The sixth evidence is, Hadith number, 667, from, Sahih, Al, Bukhari collection. The Hadith was conveyed by, Abdullah, Ibn, Amar, may Allah be pleased with him, another companion of the Prophet. The Hadith stated as follows. Quote. Abdullah ibn Amr, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated. The Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, convey my teachings to the people, even if, it were a single sentence. Tell also the stories of, the descendants of Israel, which have been taught to you. It is not sinful to do so. Whoever tells a lie on me intentionally, will surely take his place in the hell fire. End quote. Disclaimer. This channel is not intended as, a mean to force people, into embracing their religion. Because, it is prohibited in Islam, to do so, as stated in the Quran chapter 2 verse 256. The Quranic verse stated as follows, quote, There shall be no compulsion, in acceptance of the religion. The right course has become clear from the wrong. End quote. Summary Inviting people to Islam possesses a very important place in Islam. This was instructed by Allah, the creator of this universe, in the Quran. This was also instructed by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Hadith. However, in Islam, it is forbidden to force someone, into embracing the religion. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also prohibited the Muslims, to lie in the name of the religion. If you want more of these video, so, stay tuned to our channel. Please subscribe, and push the like button. Please support our channel by buying our books, shown in the description below. Please tell us your opinion about the video in the comments section below. Please also visit our website, to learn about Islam systematically. Share this video with your friends and family. Further information can be found in our books. Thank you for watching. Peace be upon those who follow the guidance.